ticket is number 20. A traditional setting. Timeless. A valued part of British heritage. Glass, in whatever shape or form, is and always has been part of our lives. Reliable, chemically safe, and reusable time and time again. is clearly the best alternative for today's range of packaging. British glass manufacturers have achieved the highest standards through skilled personnel and advanced computer technology. From the initial design to the finished product. However, the recipe behind this traditional form of container has remained the same. The basic ingredient of glass is sand. But to melt sand alone would incur very high temperatures and it has the disadvantage of setting quickly. Soda ash is added to bring down the temperatures and make the mixture more workable. And a third ingredient, limestone, is added to give the mixture more stability. However, by normal standards, the temperature needed to melt this mixture is still very high. That would mean using lots of energy and money. So what do we do? This fourth ingredient is called Cullid, which is simply all the bottles and jars that have returned through the bottle bank scheme. Mixing Cullid with the other ingredients actually helps the melting process by reducing the temperatures needed. Thousands of tons of Cullid are used every day but first, it needs to be separated from any impurities. So, recycling all our unwanted bottles and jars is important. It helps save energy, and moreover, the Earth's natural resources. Quality control ensures that the raw materials are of the highest standard before they are weighed and mixed into precise quantities here in the batch house. This is carefully controlled to achieve a perfect blend. Once completed, the mixture is ready to be fed into the furnace. The temperature inside each furnace is carefully monitored over 24 hours every single day of the year. Inside a furnace like this, around 300 tons of mixture are melted every day. The dark patches we see here are materials in the course of melting. From the furnace, molten glass flows to the forehearth and then into the bottle making machine which can produce from 150 to 300 containers per minute, depending on their size and complexity. But before we look more closely at the bottle making process, let's see how containers are designed. The creativity of designers is enhanced with the most sophisticated computer systems. Computer-aided design, or CAD for short, turns the most ambitious ideas into practical reality. Specially made molds are supplied to glass manufacturers. 
Here in the workshop, they can be made by computer-controlled machinery and cut to exact specifications. So now we have our mold. What happens next? The molten glass, as it leaves the forehearth, where it has been conditioned, uniform in temperature and viscosity, is then cut into precise portions called gobs. The gobs are distributed in sequence to the first of two moulds on the forming machine. In what is known as the blow and blow process, each gob is transferred into a blank mould and gases escape through the neck ring to ensure it is loaded properly. A metal plunger or plug forms the neck and compressed air is blown through this to form the basic shape of the container, known as the parison. The blank mould then opens and the parison is swung by the neck to the opposite side of the machine. The blowhead swings into position and the parison is blown into the shape of the finished container. known as press and blow, is used to make wide mouth containers. But here, a plunger forms the initial parison shape. At this stage, the containers have special coatings applied to avoid any scratching and scuffing that may occur later on. Although the containers are blowing hot, they have already cooled to around 600 degrees centigrade. Any sudden cooling causes residual stress which can be avoided by reheating them in a long oven, the Lear. Inside the Lear, the containers are reheated and controlled cooling ensues over a period of up to three hours. As they come out of the Lear, a further coating may be applied. Here at the cold end is a battery of quality control booby traps. Everyone looking for trouble. Bottles are squeezed to see if they'll break. Instruments measure their mouths and necks and check for obstructions. Detectors spot the tiniest fractures and the eye of an expert scans each product. If anything is found wanting, it meets an instant ignoble end, carried away as coloured to start right back at square one. Having been subjected to the highest production standards, meeting international specifications, sample containers are taken to the quality control department for further in-depth analysis.
Finally, the containers are stacked onto pallets and then shrink-wrapped with plastic film to keep them secure for handling and transportation. British Glass, working together to preserve our future. This film was made for British Glass, the industry's trade and research body, which provides a full range of technical backup to the glass manufacturers. <laughs>